Governor Ben Ayade and the APC take over PDP Secretariat in Cross River. And National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP Uche Sekundus, urges prayers for Nigeria. Well, this is Plus Politics, and I am Mary Anna Korn. A property which housed the People's Democratic Party PDP secretariat in Cross River State was on Sunday or Saturday morning painted into the All Progressive Congress APC colors. The building, popularly known as the PDP secretariat, was cordoned off by heavily armed security operatives while the workers continued the work. This development took place days after the governor, Ben Ayade, defected to the APC. In reaction to this, the PDP said the invasion was a form of criminal trespass and called on the leadership of the APC to reject the governor's behavior and allow the PDP uh, the use of its property. Well, joining me to have this conversation is uh, Vanashes Ikim. He's a former PDP publicity secretary and Basita, who is the publicity secretary of the APC in Cross River State. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you, Brian, for having me. All right. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start with um, the APC spokesperson here. Um, currently, um, according to the PDP, they're saying that the properties, um, especially vital documents that were contained in that building, records of the party, have either been vandalized or in the custody of the governor, Professor Ben Ayade. Um, I'm so. I'm wondering why that building was taken over by the APC in the first place, because we all know that that building belonged to the PDP. Well, let me start by saying that um, what, we are, what we are experiencing from the PDP is an attempt by some persons to cry wolf when none exists. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that translates to asking the question, where has PDP ever erected any structure? in Kosovo State. As far as I know, that uh, building has been a rented apartment that has been paid for by uh, His Excellency Professor Ben Ayari, the governor of Kosovo State and the leader of the APC in Kosovo State. So if um, by virtue of last uh, Saturday's defection of uh, His Excellency and his team supporters, he deems it fit to reclaim what he has been paying for. I don't think there should be any uh, spilled milk over that. I think it also calls for the PDP to re-strategize. If only they want to leave out their, their disposition as an opposition party, it calls for re-strategy. Uh, it's for, for them to re-strategize and uh, see how to uh, have a space in the political landscape of Russia. And um, one of such strategies is for them to look for another secretariat and not to come and angle for what does not actually belong to them. Yes. Okay. I, I have a very interesting question for you, Mr. Basita. Um, there was a press okay. release... There was a press release by um, the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor of Cross River State, uh, Mr. Christian Ita, and I'd like to quote it directly. Uh, he said the building... Okay. Um, that was PDP's former, he said that, he referred to that building as the PDP's former secretariat, meaning that it's giving credence of sorts that that building, of course, obviously used to house the PDP and has been known as the PDP secretariat. Uh, and then he said that it is now that of the APC. Now, his reasons, just like you gave, was that the rent due for that building was paid or renewed three months ago by Governor Ben Ayade, who is the governor of Cross River State, who was a PDP governor. So my question is, Ms. Dita, um, did the governor pay for that building as a PDP member, as the governor of Cross River State, or was he paying for it as a member of the APC that he was about to decamp to? Yeah, it's, it's, also, related, it's also related to say that Having moved from the PDP, everything about His Excellency the Governor has moved. 
everything entirely has moved. In fact, including the, 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 the apartment, so to speak. And like I said, as I said earlier, it goes to, to inform and instruct the PDP that having dispersed, having moved from the, 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 the PDP to APT, everything about the PDP ceases to exist, except uh, for those who still hang around, the naysayers, so to speak. But it's just that, uh, it's just that uh, we must have appreciate the fact that His Excellency, uh, His Excellency has uh, this peaceful man and uh, is forced to politics with ethics. Is forced politics with ethics uh, takes us to the, the land of civility, where we make so noise about uh, the first antecedents of the, the PDP. So you're, so you're telling me that so you're telling me that because a governor, a sitting governor, has moved to another political party, that political party that he used to belong to should, this you know, completely yeah. not exist in the state again. Is that I, what is that the picture you're trying to paint? Because many people well, have moved, it should, it should, many people have decamped to political other political parties and have not taken over their party secretariat. No, Why no, is no, this no, the case of Cross River exist. State? It shouldn't exist at the instance of its past glory. It shouldn't exist, you know, still and what gives, the what gives What gives a governor the power to make another political party that has members other than him seem to say that but, that party should not exist? What gives that governor the no, powers? No, He's the yeah, governor no, of the state, not the owner of the political party, is he? It shouldn't, it, it shouldn't exist. PDP shouldn't exist at the instance of occupying what does not actually belong to them. That is what I mean by... Okay, I have one, one more question for you before I go to Vinashe Uh Before Ben Ayade became a senator in Cross River State, or before he even became a governor of Cross River State, was that secretariat not a PDP secretariat? I thank God that the word former... Oh, it, it, it's, it's, a yes or no, it's a yes or no answer for me, please. No, no, the, no. You, it, actually, naturally, would I expect a, 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 a blanket answer like that? I think it calls for some level of uh, expression of sentiment. Okay? okay, if you don't mind. Okay. And that is to the effect, and that is to the effect that, like I said earlier, for the respect that the PDP should re-strategize. They have recently held a meeting. Yesterday, they were held a meeting, and they said they were re-strategizing for you know, the, uh, the 2023, so to speak. So that should also include looking for another secretariat. Okay. All right. I'm going to come to you, Vinashes. Um, I want to go back to my first question, Mr. E. Kame. Um The PDP is alleging that certain of their properties that were in that building, including um, sensitive um, e documents, either have been destroyed or in the custody of the governor. Why do you think that the governor would want to keep uh, sensitive documents that belong to the PDP? Uh, I mean, the fact that you've not been able to gain entry into that building, this could all be speculative. This is actually comical, but it's also a very new law in the, in the annals of the history of the policies of uh, partisan politics in cross river state, to say the least. Uh, like you rightly said, I think people have been decamping over time, and we've never heard this kind of ridiculous thing. Uh, secondly, let me say that uh, actually we have a, a party critical committee in place, and there's a public secretary. I wish actually that they could have been, uh, she would have been in a position to respond to much of what you're asking. A bit as it may, uh, what I can say is that for the same reason, to answer directly your question, for the same reason that the governor illegally, through his aides and agents, took over the PDP secretariat and pretends to make it an APC secretariat for the same reason that he probably is keeping our documents. And uh, to put this in perspective, that is the secretariat PDP has used for about 20, 21 years. PDP has been in that secretariat since August since August 1999, I guess, either 1999 or 2000. But I think those facts are immaterial. But we have been consistently 
in that secretariat, and that fact is not in dispute. Uh, the current tenancy is receipted, was paid for, is receipted for PDP. The landlady or the landlords or the managers of the property have so indicated. We have filed all this before uh, the authorities. Um, it is unfortunate, really, that the governor, who is supposed to maintain peace, the chief security officer of the state, will descend to this level in an attempt to draw out the PDP. Because since his defection, we have more been in celebration mode for his departure than money. So I think he sought to provoke the PDP into something that may generate crisis. But being very matured, with very matured persons at the helms of affairs, the immediate past deputy governor of the party is the Ketika committee. I mean, immediate past deputy governor of the state is the Ketika committee chairman of the party with about two commissioners in the current IADES uh, government. They are all members of the PDP uh, Ketika committee. And they have decided to keep a cool head and to follow due process in our response to the unwarranted provocation that this has meant to the PDP. Having said that, that is not to say we are going to renege on our rights for even a second. Uh, we all know that the courts have been in a, uh, some unions within the judicial system have been on a, a strike. And so it's not easy to seek a legitimate or legal redress. That is the only reason they can still pretend that their action has any basis in, in substance. We hope that as soon as the judiciary is in place, we will seek redress as we should and all consequential damages as would be arising from the illegal occupation of our secretariat. That's the position I can state for now from my uh, knowledge of the facts relating to this issue. Well, let me just take you to, let me draw your attention to a statement released by the Chief Press Secretary again uh, to Governor Iade. In that statement, he claimed that the PDP's calls um, about this whole building, the fact that you are saying that this building was illegally taken over, that they, they, he's calling it a tissue of lies and a cocktail of fraudulent claims to quote him directly. And he referred to uh, the PDP led by Efiok Kobong, who uh, was the former deputy governor under Lia Limoke, um, he says that that particular um, committee is driven by greed and laziness, and uh, it is a tactless and clueless leadership. Uh, I'm, and I'm, I'm curious to understand why um, the chief secretary would write that, uh, because his claims, for anyone who doesn't really know the story, they're saying that the PDP is lying, and of course, I want to understand why would the governor uh, say make these claims if he doesn't have any facts or any proof as to that building belonging to the PDP? Well, we are happy that that uh, kind of reaction came from the chief press secretary to the government of Cross River State, uh, and not the APC. That clearly ties the brigandage orchestrated on the PDP secretariat to government. Otherwise, we should have been hearing from the APC. Having said that, uh, the caretaker committee for your information and for the information of the general public was put in place uh, only on Friday. And this brigandage took place on Saturday. So I do not know whether uh, the chief press secretary, Mr. Ita, is a diviner or for some reason he's a voodoo practitioner for him to declare a committee headed by an erstwhile deputy governor, current serving commissioners in a day's government, a professor in the University of Calabar, who happens to also be a member of the PDP, a lawyer who was formerly an attorney general of the state over a long period, and other very prominent citizens of Cross River State who are members of the PD, who declare them incompetent by his own judgment. That tells you the ridiculous level they are prepared to go. Even when they have served less, they've, they've not even occupied the office, but he has declared that they are incompetent. That's, would, I leave that judgment to himself and to the general public. What, now, what is the, the state of this? I'm sorry to cut, despite cut you off. Despite all his allegations, I'm sorry to I cut will you challenge off. him to say, yes. I'm sorry to cut you off, but what is the state of the PDP right now in Cross River? Because 
Uh, there have been several claims by the APC and, of course, the governor uh, that the PDP has been left in shambles to lick their wounds, and that's why you're crying wolf. But what is the state of the PDP? Because uh, prior to now, there have been divisions within the party with... Um, um, you know, the elections that happened where a member of the House of Representatives was supposed to take a position in the Senate, and that has been a drag on for so long. Um, and, and the governor has also pointed out, you know, the fact that he was not allowed to be the leader of his party. Could this have brought the party to shambles? What exactly is the state of things right now? Uh, nothing can be further from the truth than such an allegation. If anybody is crying wolf at all, it is the APC, or sorry, the government of the day that's crying wolf. Because what they expected, the reaction they expected from the PDP is not what they have seen. We have responded with maturity because you don't join a madman. I mean, if a madman pursues, a naked madman pursues you on the street or seizes your clothes, as they say, uh, and you decide to pursue him naked, you will also... Nobody will know the difference between you and the madman. So we have decided not to answer them. What we have decided is that we will follow due process to recover our secretariat. Because everybody knows that that's our secretariat. We have the receipts. The landlord or the administrators of the estate have stated clearly that they do not know the APC as their tenant. It is only the PDP they know as their tenant. And we have been in occupation of that premises consistently, continuously for the past at least 20 years. So I think whoever is lying is clear here. Now, having said that, the PDP had a very uh, mammoth rally yesterday. We we're supposed to have a meeting of stakeholders, but the meeting turned out to be a rally. I'm sure some um, media houses have already displayed that they are all over the social media. And uh, Ginger are frightened by this Uh, I think we, we lost connection there with Mr. Ikem for a bit. But let me go back to Basita. Basita, um, quickly, I want to talk more about this issue of the secretariat. Where was the APC secretariat before the governor moved to the APC? There obviously is a secretariat in Calabar, I'm sure. Um, is that place no longer conducive for the APC? Why is the PDP secretariat now more seemingly convenient for the APC to take over? Logically speaking, logically speaking, every movement goes with growth and expansion. You know, even in bad little days, we hear of the story of the movement of the Israelites into the promised land, and that led to the expansion and growth. So the issue about APC in Kosovo State is not an exception. When the um, Israelites uh, uh, decided to come, it it means that they from point A to point B and, and, and so on and so forth. So, AP, so APC's okay, expansion APC project APC moved APC from APC. its own party secretary that it has had for yes. so long yes. as to the to opposition's you, you, secretary. As I speak to you, the, 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 the former AP, the APC secretary, okay, is now being, you know, prepared on a rush to, to be the chapter, one of the chapter so that means that the, the former PDP secretary will not be occupied by the APC as its state secretary. I know it, 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 is, it is always possible when masters of logic fail the logic test. For somebody to come and uh, at this point realize that his excellency, okay, uh, could, could have secured a secretary for the PDP. In the APC, in the PDP family, I've been the presidency has never looked the way of the party. I mean, it's laughable. We have now realized that even the presidency was not funding the party, whereas the thing shall have been the reverse over time. So I would then, you know, make claim to the fact that the presidency was occupied by the PDP. This is a clear case of logic. Failure in nothing logic, the principle of logic. And I must say that it is laughable in every sense of it. What, so does, the, what does the national, I mean, I know that you might not be able to give me this answer, but I'll ask it anyway. Um, what does the PDP national um, 
working committee think about this move, this very interesting move by the governor of Cross River State by taking over another political party's secretariat because he is the governor? The national secretariat will naturally be in tone with his excellency's position. And as the leader of the party in the state, what has been done represents the opinion and the interest of the APC at every level. Yes. Okay. All right. Interesting. Back to you, Mr. Vanasha. This is my last question because of time. Um, the, the, you had said earlier on that the, the PDP would not respond in like manner to the APC and the governor of Cross River State, um, that you would, do due, you would go through due process. But what's the way forward for the PDP in the state? Um, of course, you're going to face more huddles. If this is just the first, uh, there's going to be more coming uh, you know, in, in the future. Um, how do you, as a party that was once the party uh, in leadership, how are you going to be able to move ahead with all that is uh, ahead of you, especially with the governor starting out by taking over your secretariat? Yeah, we're going to, uh, thank you very much. We are going to move ahead like we are moving on with this. Uh, we are happy with this uh, very early signal, and we're going to respond with maturity. We have been in government. We understand uh, the mood of our people. We are not going to get involved with juvenile actions like what the governor and his team is attempting to embark on to draw, out, draw us out into a crisis. Uh, like they say, the hood doesn't make the monk. A secretariat doesn't make the party. Hello? Yes. Okay. A secretariat doesn't make the party. Uh, like I said before, we had a very mammoth rally yesterday, and we are, we are raving to go. Our critical committee is in place and has swung into action. We will do the needful. We are putting our party back together without the governor. And we are moving on as if the governor's departure means nothing to us, and because, because it does not. Uh, I can tell you that as of today, we have already acquired a bigger and more special secretariat. But that does not mean that we'll consider our rights even for a second over the other secretariat. Because we did that because we don't want to be distracted. We are, we are convinced that whatever they are trying to do is to distract us from the reorganization of the party that we have already embarked upon. And we are confident that that will take us through the process of re-engineering the party towards 2023. Nothing can distract us, nothing absolutely, because we don't even need this particular governor because he has been too much of a distraction on the party. Like you mentioned the idea of uh, the last election we had. You can see the unnecessary distraction that his presence has brought because the governor refuses to be democratic, refuses to accept when he loses, and so he will go all out and do everything possible to ensure that Rather than accept defeat of his candidate, even within the party, he would rather everything goes down to the opposition. So that's where we are. Okay. And so for us, uh, having met yesterday at stakeholders level, we have we have made it. We have we have seen clearly where they are going, and we refuse to be distracted by their distractions. All right, so, I want to say. Uh, I, I was. Sorry. I want to say thank you. Uh, unfortunately, we have to go. Uh, thank you very much. Vanasha Zikemi is a former publicity secretary of the People's Democratic Party across the state. And uh, Basi Ta is the publicity secretary for the All Progressive Congress APC in Cross River State. Thank you for speaking with us, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you all for staying with us. We'll take a short break now. And when we return, the People's Democratic Party has a solution to the challenges that Nigeria faces. We'll be right back and then you'll find out.